Hello, my name is Amir Hossein Jamalian. I am an electronic engineer. This session, I want to talk about new exercise. Let's talk about new pneumatic equation. Y equal A plus, B plus, A minus, B minus. Okay. For simulating this equation, I use four different softwares as you can see. Floyd Sim pneumatic version for simulation the pneumatic circuits and PLC inputs and outputs. Factory IO for simulation the production lines and how the actuators work. PLC Sim for simulation the PLC inputs and outputs and TIA portal for simulation the PLC programming languages because I've used two different languages ladder and graph set for better understanding okay first I describe the Floyd C let's start with the cylinders you can see two cylinders cylinder A and B they are in a special pneumatic cylinders with two shafts you can see two a special directional control valve they are the five three directional control valve with the springs and solenoid okay let's see the flow control valves let's see the other section you can see the Floyd sim output working as an input and Floyd sim in working as an output and a special switch is connected to the I0 or I0.0 .0. this is a ladder graph set switch mode I will describe it on the factory IO diffuse sensor 1 or DS1 connected to the I1 or I0.1 proximity magnetic switch this is the A0 connected to the I2 or I0.2 and this is the A1, this is the proximity magnetic switch 2 connected to the I3 or I0.3 you can see the situation of those mounted on the cylinder sheet A0 at the end and A1 on the other side ok you can see the B0 and B1, they are the proximity magnetic switches 2 B0 connected to the I4 or I0.4 and B1 connected to the I5 or I0.5 you can see the location B0 at the end and B1 on the other side of the cylinder shield this is the cylinder A and this is the cylinder B ok let's see the outputs Q0 connected to the Y1 we can see the Y1 or Q0.0 .0. Q1 or Q0.1 connected to the Y2 Q2 or Q0.2 connected to the Y3 and Q3 or Q0.3 connected to the Y4 the action of the Y1 is the A plus Y2 is A minus Y3 is the B plus and Y4 is the B minus okay let's see the factory IO you can see different conveyors as you can see an emitter and the collector for creating the pieces or boxes two pushers working as the cylinder A and cylinder B DS1 or diffuse sensor 1 or DS2 or diffuse sensor 2 and of course and special switches working as a ladder graph set switch you can see connected to the I0.0 I0 and on the zero mode you can see the zero mode is activated it means all of to the ladder language working if I change this switch to the other mode the zero mode deactivated and the graph set language going to work I will describe it let's go to the Floyd Sim simulator you can see the run mode connected 
to the PLC1 via MPI connection address 2 they are the PLC inputs from I0.0 to I0.7 or I0 to I7 you can see I0 to I7 and this is the outputs from the Q0.0 to Q7 or Q0 to Q7 you can see Q0 to Q7 or Q0.0 to Q0.7 okay let's go to the TIA portal you can see the operation block 1 or OB1 I use two different blocks function block 1 on function block 2 FB1 FB2 I write it the ladder languages on the FB1 and the graph set languages on the FB2 I use an special switches for enable these blocks if this switch going to the zero mode you can see the green color it means all of the FB1 working and the ladder language is working and on the other side or other situation if I change it to the <coughs> other section it allows to the DB2 working or function block 2 working I will describe it okay let's see this is a useful method for programming but maybe it not be useful for the any situation but for learners who likes to learning new method for programming is very useful method okay let's I show you the FP1 you can see function block 1 you can see the ladder programming languages I will describe it on this simulation and the FP2 or function block 2 you can see the five steps from the S1 going to S5 and this is a jump command means after it going to the step 1 you can see the transitions and the steps okay let's go to the ladder or FP1 language and let's start the simulator okay when the DS1 detected the boxes A going to be plus okay I will show you you can see DS1 activated A plus okay I1 connected to the DS1 or I0.1 A equal plus the notice is you must to deactivate the voltage on the solenoids because of the solenoids working times and it leads to the solenoid working more and more you can see the Y1 deactivated as you can see and the directional control valve going to the normal mode okay you can see a plus a plus okay let's see the other steps when the ds2 detected the box b plus going to work b plus okay a minus b minus you can see the complete cycle y equal a plus b plus a minus b minus let's see again a plus a plus let's see the b plus b plus after it a minus and after it B minus this is uh, our equation and I used an a smaller pieces because of show you the how the DS1 or diffusion sensor work 
you can see the D spawn cannot detect the D small size of pieces and all of them to going throughout to the other conveyors. Let's see. It doesn't work. And is a very useful method for programming on the production lines. Okay. Now I will show you the steps on the ladder languages when the diffuse sensor one detected the box and they are the conditions A0 and B0 must be in and after it set the Y1 and it cause of A plus let's see you can see this one This one detected, okay, A plus, you can see, set Y1, you can see the Y1 set, and after it, let's go to the other steps, when A going out, or A plus, the A1 activated, and command to the reset Y1, is that the notice I mentioned you before, you must to detect the, the voltage on the solenoid path because of the solenoid's working time and set the Y3 okay let's see A plus A plus you can see no B plus A minus B minus can see the cycle step by step on the different networks okay now I will show you the different languages for better understanding this is the ladder language a very common language for the PLC programmers because it's very easy for understanding especially for the complex programming okay let's see the simulation again y equal a plus after it b plus you can see b plus a minus you can see and b minus okay let's i change the switch to the other mode first okay I will show you the OB1 or operation block 1 the DB1 or FB1 activated it means the ladder language allowed to working I want to change it to the graph set mode okay let's I do it this is the graph set mode you can see easily the I0 or I0.0 .0 going to be deactivated let's see and we can see the colors going to be blue it means FB1 do not allow to working and FB2 allow to working it's in the graph set language allow to working okay let's see the FB2 okay now no I change the view and let's see step by a step as I mentioned you before and the smaller pieces cannot detect it by the DS1 and all of them to going forward and let's see what will happen when the large box detected notice on the steps it's the one a plus let's go to detect the ds2 b plus a minus is four b minus again y equal a plus step two B plus 
step 3 a minus step 4 and b minus step 5 this is the closed loop cycle okay let's see from the other views this is the graph set mode you can see a minus b minus let's see this is and a small pieces and this one cannot detect it going to the other side and you can see the inputs and outputs on the Floyd simulator and simultaneously on the Floyd sim and PLC sim let's check the large size of boxes okay it will be happen notice on the outputs inputs jitters and plcc a plus y1 After it, B plus Y2, A minus Y3, B minus Y3, Y1, and the closed loop going working and working again. Let's see the PLC scene. Y0, Q0, Y1, after it, Y3, Y2, and Y4. Thank you very much for your attention and for your time. I suggest to enthusiasts who wants to learn more simulation and more educational pictures please see my linkedin group and of course my youtube channel if you have a suggestion for me please comment it on my posts thank you and bye